uh, yeah, I am coming to the point. The data science says uh, majoritarily it is 50 percent, 50 to 60 percent. It is depending on data mining only, and all these things, uh, techniques are used in on the data, and uh, thereby we study the the scientific uh, uh, properties of uh, data. That is nothing but the data science. So both are related, and uh, around 10 to 15 percent machine algorithm is used. And around 10%, uh, you know, the pattern recognition techniques are used like that, the other aspects. So, but 50 to 60%, if you look at the data science, only data mining principles are used. That is why the topic itself, the data science through data mining. If you are able to understand data mining very well, then data science is very, very easy. Next. Thank, you, sir. Thank you for your yeah. explanation. Yeah, next question. Uh, what exactly the maximum like likelihood? Yeah, maximum likelihood principally is nothing but if uh, you are, if the uh, person was asked and uh, you should be knowing statistical principles and uh, in sampling analysis, the concept of maximum likelihood estimate, maximum likelihood estimate is coming and uh, so it is based on uh, EM algorithm, that is expectation and maximum. Say so whenever you are doing a business, you are having a lot of expectations. So how to get maximum profit out of it? And uh, for uh, that type of situation, using the data, this uh, maximum likelihood estimate is used. I already shown in one of the slides, the maximum likelihood estimate is uh, defined in the form of the product of some functions and thereby we have to find out what is the maximum. Then you have to differentiate first differentiation, second differentiation and uh, it's a mathematical differentiation you have to do and thereby you are finding the parameter out of which you are getting the maximum parameter and that gives you the maximum likelihood estimate. That means it is a predictive estimate. So that is about maximum likelihood estimate. Next question. Thank you sir. We have, we have another query. Yeah. What are some real time examples? Both data science and data mining are used collectively. The real-time uh, example, uh, say, the data science and data mining, I am just uh, giving you a very interesting thing. Now, when, uh, see, it is uh, mostly we are all uh, enjoying gas in the house, correct? The gas we are getting through YNGC drilling operations. Now, when you are drilling beneath the earth, and uh, say in Assam area, they are drilling up to 4,500 meters drilling and more, around 300 to 400 wells are drilled in Assam area. I was also there in uh, uh, Nazira, Sipsagar areas and uh, optimization of the drilling parameters. I carried out uh, some around 25 lakhs of pro projects there. Now what is happening here and when you are drilling, lot of problems because when you are uh, sending the drill bit uh, inside the air, lot of problems are occurring and uh, dealing with uh, drilling parameters. At that time exactly you have lot of data. So that data is nothing but the database. Using specific uh, data processing we get that data and all stored in database. But suddenly when you are for foreseeing some problem there without uh, any expectation you get some kind of problem. At that time only data mining is used actually. Data mining is used there and thereby you come out from the problem. And once you are coming out from the problem, further drilling is going on. So the whole concept about the data, the scientific principles are used in terms of the data mining. And so that is the link between the data science and data mining in realistic situations in oil industries. Okay, next question please. Okay sir, uh, next question. Uh, how we can use of PR in data science? Yeah, ER. ER is again I told you, I already shown you some slides here and uh, you have got a relational database model I have already displayed. Their entity relationship model. So, the data science definitely you are dealing with the data. When you are dealing with the data, beginning itself I said, the whole data will be heterogeneous and it will not be homogeneous. So you have to segment, you have to do some kind of partition techniques 
and thereby you get different samples and each sample you have to classify associate cluster etc and once you are doing it independently each sample will follow the er diagram so er is used there so wherever you are dealing with the data definitely you have to use er in the form of the relational mostly third normal form in tabular form it is used so this is about the question next Good. Thank you, sir. Uh, how to purify huge data in data science, and can you explain some algorithm to purify the data? Yes. Uh, the purification of the data, that is what the beginning I said that, the cleanness of data. The cleanness of data is done like that. Say, for example, I have a data, uh, consider a set of, a very simple example I give, and the same simple example you can globalize. When I say a set of animal, for example, I say a set of animal, and that set is consisting of line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4, dog 1, dog 2, dog 3, and tiger 1, tiger 2, tiger 3, like that. So here, I call that it is a set of animals only. Whereas, the, this set can be segregated into three subsets. That is set of lions, set of tiger, set of donkeys, set of monkeys like that. So, when you as such look at the set of animals, and uh, but you are looking of only set of lions, the other data they are not relevant. So you have to remove them. And uh, when you remove them, you are getting a subset of only lion. So that means the data is clean. So this is the simplest visualization of understanding the cleanness of data. Next, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question. What are the steps in making the decision tree? Yeah, efficiency, what uh, you have to do uh, when you are, efficiency is uh, totally depending on when you are expecting a result out of data and you are applying, a, is the beginning, beginning itself I told you while talking about the algorithm. <coughs> when you are applying one algorithm, you are expecting some result, but result is not coming. Then we have to look for alternative algorithm. Then once you are applying that, you may get the results actually. But efficiency, because when the output is somewhat matching with your outcome expected, that is called efficiency that is in terms of the results. Another efficiency in terms of speed we have to think. In terms of speed we have to think. In terms of accuracy, we have to think. So both the factors are put together, then efficiency uh, in the algorithm is uh, really what is expected by the mankind in data science. Next, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question. Uh, is there any disadvantage of data mining in our industry? What is its limitations? Yeah, data mining has got no limitation at all because data mining uh, in fact, it is very widely used and I am, I am telling you that it is the future of data science actually. Data science is totally depending on data mining techniques and uh, as part of the, with the help of the data mining and uh, it is also uh, applied in many areas. As such, there is no deficiency and uh, nobody has proved that uh, the limitation of data mining techniques actually. because. When uh, database and other techniques are failing, at that time, it is giving the helping hand. So there is no question of thinking about the deficiency of data mining. Yeah, next. Thank you, sir. How to choose the right da uh, data mining algorithm? What are the factors we should look for when we choose an algorithm? Yeah, very correct. So for any problem, when you are choosing the algorithm, say, for example, uh, uh, say you are uh, simple in a very uh, raw sense and uh, common man uh, sense. Supposing I want to draw a horse, I want to draw some horse say, but then immediately what I have to make, I have to make a kind of outline of horse and then slowly I have to paint so that you get a horse. But outline itself is looking like a donkey and your expectation is uh, horse but your output becomes a donkey. So outcome and output both are not matching. So that is nothing bad. What is algorithm here? The algorithm is nothing bad. 
the drawing the outline so similarly when you are dealing with any kind of data you have to think say from the data whether it is going to form a linear regression then i have to think about the linear model when it is making a parabolic uh, look then i have to use the parabolic uh, structure and thereby i have to apply least square technique like that so that is in fact a kind of inferential analysis but uh, absolutely there is no harm when you are applying a very closer algorithm if you fail then immediately you are applying the alternative algorithm there you are getting the success so that way initially on the data trial and error method only they do by means of experience then you will be in a position to apply right algorithm next question please. thank you sir uh, what are the algorithms used in data science yeah i already mentioned you know all the, whatever the principles i have told in data mining in data mining uh, nowadays you know data science all user friendly manner the algorithms are available and they are in fact uh, the cloud computing is helping and uh, you know ibm cloud computing if you go and metered services are available there where you can select any type of algorithm and automatically uh, they are also suggesting it is prompting you which type of algorithm you can use like that so plenty of algorithms are available today absolutely there is no shortage yeah it is well developed science now Thank you, sir. Uh, how the data science is developing as technology grows? Yeah, data science. Uh, I am telling you, as uh, technology growth, it is uh, in fact uh, never-ending process. And uh, so far as data is there, and it is uh, growing like anything. And uh, various technologies are coming up based on the research by researchers. And uh, a number of people are working in data science and uh, data mining and the machine algorithm. and so on and so forth so it is in tune with the time it is growing a lot and uh, data science uh, it is exactly like deepavali is no deepavali without crackers similarly data is no data without data science next thank you sir next question how data mining is effective for increasing productivity of any industry yeah i already told you because data mining is a very important technology as part of data science and data science without data science uh, any company progress is lost so when they are applying data science definitely data mining is a very good uh, uh, technology as a tool for data science so next we have a next question sir uh, are there any challenges faced while using data mining in terms of privacy and security uh, as such uh, you know uh, there, there is no uh, challenges actually but challenges is Uh, only uh, you know, sometimes uh, when you are unable to understand the algorithm and uh, say uh, while running the algorithm only uh, some challenges will come because of data error so that data error once the cleanness of data is done and then the challenge is uh, solved resolved actually next <coughs> what are the common issues faced during data mining process the common issues uh, mostly i already told you in terms of clustering association and uh, you know uh, association uh, classification clustering these are the common issues basically because if uh, association clustering and uh, uh, these things are association clustering uh, they are not uh, properly taken care uh, that becomes a issue in data mining see i should associate a donkey with the donkey but not with monkey simple way yeah Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, Participants, any other queries? Anyway, no problem. Let us allow time to all the participants, and uh, I have given a very. In I think uh, I hope I have created interest uh, in the data mining as part of data science, and people can refer any data mining book. Even I myself have written a book with the Canadian author, Data Mining Concepts, and. Uh, It's a very wonderful domain, future technology and future of data science. Uh, and uh, if you have any other query, you can always write to me. Uh, the, my email ID is Dr. S. Sridhar at yahoo. dot com, and my website is also available Dr. Sridhar. dot net. You can go through, and many number of my webinar talks are there. My own uh, YouTube talks are there, and you can sub subscribe and. Uh, you can and uh, so whatever i know during this uh, brian shaming session i could answer and uh, more details uh, i love to provide i am available 24 by 7 thank you very much thank you sir uh, 
thank you sir it was an eye opening session for uh, many beginners in the field of data science uh, now i call upon dr p and prince ma'am to deliver the vote of thanks please ma'am thank you so much sir for your valuable presentation nice of you thank for you arranging so uh, this talk yeah thank you sir so on behalf of our management principal dr k mani and head of the department dr m helga masi i thank all the participants who attended the webinar with the grand success so dear participants kindly fill the feedback form which will be posted in the whatsapp group and get the e certificate so once again i thank all the participants thank you all